Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius sign. This is an open message for the Sagittarius sign, please. Thank you so much guys for supporting the channel. Thank you so much guys for being here. If you would like to further connect with me Sagittarius, you know what to do. Please click the bell and click the subscribe button, okay? This is an open message for the Sagittarius sign. I want you to think of your situation. Think about your focus. Think about your objectives, aspirations. Um, think about your issues and concerns. I will tap into your energy and I will be looking into... Um, the answers that you seek or the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is for the Sagittarius sign. You have, you have the Nine of Swords. You have the Nine of Cups. Look at that. Look at that. You have the Nine of Swords. You have the Nine of Cups. You have the Three of Cups in here. What can I get for the Sagittarius sign? You have the Justice card sitting in your current energies. Okay. You could be dealing with a Libra. You have your Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, the center of the reading. You have the Empress card. You could be dealing with a Pisces. In the immediate future, you have the Five of Cups, okay? Next to your Five of Cups is you've got a Two of Wands. And lastly, you have the Magician card. Okay, all right, Sagittarius, let's start your reading. So, in the recent past, or the past energy, you have the Nine of Swords. This is the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups. And you have the three of cups in here. It feels like for some of you guys, there's some sort of, um, there's definitely a strong unfinished business or you've done a lot of thinking. You, you put a lot of, you put a lot of logical thinking. It could also be referred to processing, but the nine of swords, this is feeling stuck. Okay. You invested a lot of mental logical processing towards the situation and yet you couldn't come up with a decision or it could be a situation ship where you have made a decision but you're probably waiting for them to give their input um it's a stalemate you know it's something the nine of swords it's something that you're bound you know you're held back um I don't think it's your, I don't think it's you, you know, it's more of, it's the other end, okay? It's the other, it's it's the other person, okay, the, the, nine of, the nine of swords here. If there was something so complicated and something so difficult and you tried and you tried and you tried and you tried again and it didn't work out. It's because the other situation, the other person, <clears throat> it's not as game on like you to solve the problem or to make it happen or to make it work, okay? Um, this is a situation ship where I could feel how much you're interested to put more work, to have it, you know, to go through a ten of swords and complete it. But it still, it remains unresolved something unsatisfactory it's because of their input there's a missing input or there's a missing reply there's something missing and this time it's not from your end it looks like it is stuck it is stagnant it's not moving it's unfinished business but the whole thing it's not to be anchored in your soul okay it's anchored to the other person it's more of it's telling you that this is actually somehow 
a good riddance. You don't know probably yet, you know, why it's a good riddance. Or with the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups in here, Sagittarius, it gives me a feeling that this is a nine and a nine. It's at the same number, but this is dark and this is this is the disadvantage and this is the advantage. Okay. So it looks like in the next couple of weeks or days, Sagittarius, this very thing, this nine of swords, this very situation ship that it was stuck, not moving. I think you need to realize one of the strongest message in here that everything it everything was bound to move if the piece the missing piece is input by the other person but they did not you know don't think sagittarius that it was unconsciously done okay it was something that they know Okay, the other person exactly knows that if they did not, if they didn't do this, things would be incomplete. Things would be unfinished business. So whoever, if you're resonating, it's a strong, it's a stubborn, okay? This nine of swords, whoever you're dealing with, it's a very stubborn person, okay? They're ex they left things really open like this so one day they can come back nine of cups okay so it was their intention to leave it like this and not to give their hundred percent possibly not they're not ready or they don't want to complete it or they're just not in the same you know heart space and head space okay in short, whoever it is that you were dealing with in this situation, they've left it like this, okay? And they've left it because the Nine of Cups, one day, like the Three of Cups, I will come back and finish this off, okay? So there was a situation that they left it open. They left the door open or they left without saying goodbye, they intentionally put it in a stalemate or up in the air or, you know, um, unfinished business, okay? Because if they want to, they can, but they didn't, okay? Um, fast forward with the Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups, this person, the situation, okay? It's now getting to a point that I'm ready to finish the business. If you look at the rhythm, this person is very stubborn. I think your contribution or the role you play here in Sagittarius, the role you play here in Sagitt the role you play here, Sagittarius, is that you were probably thinking it was your fault. It's not. You're probably thinking that I did all of my best, but it didn't work out. There was some there was a bit of a bit of blame game towards you, you know, like you, not all of you, but maybe some some of you guys, you were quite uncertain. What did I do? What did no? You didn't do anything. It was the other person. Like this past situation, it's it's emphasizing with the nine and the nine that they meant to leave it in a nine suspended and come back whenever they're ready. Okay, so there was some sort of good riddance. They bought time. And here you go. With the three of cups in here, someone is getting ready. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. But this was a very calculated risk. Okay, this person is stubborn but smart. Okay, so it was a calculated risk. It was a calculated risk and plan. Okay, yes, nine of wands. Look at that. Nine, nine, and nine. And this is exactly you. You were bothered. Yeah. You were very bothered about this unfinished business. It bothered you. It made you worry. It made you went cuckoo a little bit. You know, it made you think, like, what did I do? Have I done something? It made you think and overthink. Whereas the other person, they know what's happening. They left it like, they left the things like that so they can come back when they're ready 
it's a vibe where okay i'm gonna leave you i'm gonna make you overthink so you're still thinking of me you know it was it was a smart deliberate but it was kind of self-centered because if they left things unfinished business you would keep thinking about them and you did you know it bothers you while well, this person knows that, okay, I'm just going to unfinish business you. I'm going to breadcrumbs you. I'm going to disappear. I'm going to, you know, uh, ghost you or bench you and then space. And then I'm going to come back. Okay. So this person is really calculating the risk. Oh, you know, I'm not going to talk to you for three months or three, six months. I don't think you're going to date anybody. I don't think you'll forget me by that time. I could still come back. So this was a calculated risk and plan because the advice or the outcome is pointing into a three of cups. You are so bothered about this situation. So just letting you know that this unfinished business is starting to probably like your post, slowly watching your reels, slowly checking on you. And you could feel that somehow they're going to come back. You would probably hear some news about this person, but you could feel that this person is coming back, okay? You could feel intuitively it was their plan. It was a calculated risk, yeah. They work. In those times that you were not in contact, you were not with them, they were working and at the same time planning their return. They're done with whatever they need to work on. They're ready to return. Yeah, this person is ready to return. Sagittarius. Right now, current energy is your digestive card. I like this card. I like that you're sitting in a justice card. Because you see the light and you see the darkness. You see the advantage and the disadvantage. You see the wrong and the right. You're very balanced. Um, you're a fire sign. So you work with passion and magic. But with the justice card, you're very logical, intellectual, emotional. All of your senses are working together. Okay, It means that when you decide, when you move, everything is balanced. It's not super high. Okay? So what's coming towards you in this justice card is the Knight of Pentacles. You've been waiting for this Knight of Pentacles. It could be connected to this person or situation, but this Knight of Pentacles is something or someone you've waited for. It could be connected to them, okay? This could be that unfinished business or it could be connected to, because um, I'm hearing the word stalemate, okay? It could be connected to money. It could be connected, I'm hearing the word salary. It could be a salary. It could be a money owed to you or an apology owed to you. This Knight of Pentacles in here. Um, the three of wands, wow, Sagittarius, you have the three of wands and the wheel of fortune. This knight of pentacles, who is connecting towards the Sagittarius, it could be this person. Because this is again a three of wands. A three of wands, this is something I plan to return and connect with you the month of May. So it was their intention. Whoever this Knight of Pentacles, it was scheduled. This person, company situation, it was something scheduled. Okay? If they reach out anytime soon, a portion of the month of May, it was scheduled. It was their plan and scheduled to return the month of May. Something around the month of May. You know, with the Empress card in here. This person believes that this is the right timing. I think they have some information about you, Sagittarius. Yes, the temperance card in here. They have some information about you, okay? They have some sort of information about you, Sagittarius, that they have some information about you. Maybe they can see you online. Maybe they can see you, your post, but they have some information about you and this information is their source of i'm ready now and i believe sagittarius is ready okay um it could also be a person who this knight of pentacles it, it could also speaks about money because there's a three and a three 
and the temperance card. You know this person knows you well, Sagittarius. They know that you've been thinking about them. You know, this could be, it's more of personal versus professional. Although you might get some news about money. You might get some news about job. You might get some news about claim and payment in here. Or an increase of resources in here. But 80%, it feels like it's a relationship, okay? I like that you're sitting in a justice card. Because whoever this person is, um, you will process. Because, you know, this Empress card, it looks very charming. This, whoever the situation that's connecting to you, they're going to use their charm. And it's a situation or a person where because they plan it well, they know how to charm you. They know what to say. And they've studied you. So... There's something with this person that they're very, very prepared to what they're going to say, how will, what they're going to say, how they will invite you. Look at that. They're calculating again. Look at that, the Wheel of Fortune. So whoever this person or situation situationship is, they've studied you, they've looked at you, they've connected to you energetically, and then they move. Okay, this was... This is not a spur of the moment, okay? Knight of Pentacles. I like that you're sitting in a justice card because you're going to use all of your senses. You know, logical, emotional, especially your intuition. Somehow, your hidden energy is the Five of Cups. This person can trigger you to remember something in the past that you were kind of forgetting. Because if you look at the justice card, it's blind. And you're using all of your senses and your intuition. And once this person or situation chips connect with you, it's a five of cups. So it could trigger you to remember the past. It could trigger you to remember this. If It could be the same person. But as charming as they are, your reaction is a five of cups. It could be a little bit too late, Sagittarius. Let's see. Wow, whoever this person or situation, Sagittarius, they really, really prepared. They have some story to tell, some explanation to tell. And this person is willing to express their story, their feelings. They're very vulnerable, Sagittarius. Whoever this person or situation is, I believe that they've it it took a while like it took a lot of courage and energy to brave this move. It's not a spur of the moment. Um this person their goal Sagittarius is to get your trust, to get your approval, to get you to listen to them. There's a two of ones in here which makes me feel that their plan is to be as transparent as they are, as charming, and emotionally connect with you, and transparent, you know. They want to be transparent in everything, like telling you the story. They're also very balanced, Sagittarius, because they tell you the story of the past. They tell you a little bit of the pain. They tell you of their feelings towards you and their intention. And to a once, they ask for result. So they have a goal. And ultimately, they want to start all over again with you. And this is the Magician card. The Magician card, it has all the element. The Pentacle, the Sword, you know, the Wands, and the Cup. So, this person is very strategic. Whoever this person or situation is coming, um, they would face your justice. If this person made a mistake or some sort of... If, 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 they, if they cause you a bit of discomfort in your life, they will face your justice. Because the way you're going to process it is with justice. If, there's, if they deserve to be forgiven and forgotten, you'll give that. But if they don't deserve it, you give that. But you are the justice. You give justice to the situation. 
you are the justice card, Sagittarius. This is your reading. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, click the bell and click the subscribe button. I'll see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.